So the term low level language is specifically focusing on two types of language. So they consist of assembly language and machine code. So we've got here over on the right hand side, the example of machine code. So machine code is essentially just binary, just ones and zeros. And then you've got assembly language, which is a little bit more structured, but there's a different video on that if you want to look at the details of assembly language. But those two together are known as low level languages. Okay, one instruction of assembly language, so that for example, usually represents one instruction in machine code. And um, usually assembly language is written for one type of machine and won't work with another. The reason being these things here, these instructions might be different between processes. So typically you write this or that for one type of machine and it won't work with another. So both low level languages are written for a specific machine. Um, the downside of both of them is they're very difficult to read, difficult to understand and difficult to modify, which is why we have higher level languages, which I'll cover in a different video. Um, commands in machine code don't need to be translated because that's literally in the way the computer talks. But if you've got assembly language, it needs to be turned into machine code before the computer can run it. Um, the upside of both of these really is the level of control you have over the CPU and the hardware. So if you're really, really geeky and you wrote a program specifically in these a low level language, it would typically run faster than the same program written in a high level language because you have 100% control over how the hardware and CPU is working.